Hello everybody, it's Allie. I'm gonna start, I'm not gonna call this the tea anymore. We're gonna do from like, from behind a leaf, kind of like the between two ferns kind of vibe maybe. I'm there for it, I'm there. Also, also happy holidays. <laughs> I'm decorating my house for Christmas, which I'm very excited about. Um, I don't like to do it too early because I get sick of it really quickly, but I've been making like orange garland and all sorts of fun stuff and I've been really liking that. So anywho, if you don't follow us on all of our social media already, please go do that now. We are on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Body Candy. We are bodycandy.com on Snapchat. And then of course we are on Facebook.com slash Body Candy Body Jewelry, YouTube.com slash Body Candy Body Jewelry, and Pinterest.com slash Body Candy. Now that we have that all out of the way, we're going to do volume nine of Dear Allie questions, just because I feel like it's nice for you guys to hear that maybe we all have similar questions or we're all wondering similar things. And kind of also to acknowledge that no question is like stupid or dumb or insignificant because it's a question that can be answered. So we're going to answer some questions. First question, when switching from nipple barbells to rings, is it easier to go to a horseshoe in between? My personal answer is going to be no, because a car, a uh, barbell and, um, barbell is going to be straight. Gosh, I should probably have sorted this out in my head before I started talking. A curved, <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Okay. The curve in a horseshoe is the same as the curve in a ring for the most part. So you're not really doing anything different in between. Some people anatomically are going to be differently experiencing things. Guys, I just can't talk today. We have to reset. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, try again. No, going to a horseshoe in between is probably not necessary. Anatomically, everybody is different and some people may experience discomfort switching between the two. It is not a guaranteed thing. Some people have no problem with it. If you do experience an issue, you should contact your trusted and loved piercer. <sighs> All right, next question. Uh, hi, Allie, I'm a very active person. I like working out with lots of movement across all parts of my body. Is it safe for me to get a piercing? I'm afraid my body won't accept a belly ring. You are absolutely all good to get a piercing. Do keep in mind that any of that movement or trauma that you might cause to your belly over time might cause a delay in your healing process, but there's tons of people that are modified that also work out. Also, if you're like a, into swimming in the summer and things like that, that might be the only thing to consider is not getting pierced in the summer because you don't want to be soaking in a pool anytime soon after that. So that's really probably all that I would say that you should have to think about. Um, be cautious and be aware and also make sure your jewelry is streamlined and small during your healing process, which it should be anyway, but just saying it out loud. Dear Allie, I have a really hard time swapping out my Tragus jewelry. Now that I'm healed up, I want to wear something new every day, but I'm spending 10 minutes in front of the mirror trying to get my ball and back on. Any advice? A couple of options here for you. We do sell ball grabber tools in a few different sizes. They do sell out, so if you see them, definitely pick those up. Um, sometimes they're in and out of stock. Um, but because those are um, nice and tiny and little, they have little rubber bits at the end of them, they work similar to a screwdriver. You turn them, you don't wanna be wrenching around in there, but you can tighten or loosen, so they're, they're very convenient. Um, the other option that you have is a flat back stud or a push pin stud, um, which are gonna be a lot easier to insert because you put the post in from the back, which is really easy to do, like you don't even need a mirror. And then um, you would attach the gem or the front of your jewelry on the front of your tragus, which is a heck of a lot easier. And then last but not least, um, dear Allie, I want to get a conch piercing, but I'm afraid I won't be able to use headphones anymore. Doesn't a conch get in the way of AirPods or earbuds? Will I only be able to wear one while I'm healing? Um, I live in a phantom house. The door just opened itself. Creepy. Um, I have a fresh conch piercing and a fresh tragus piercing. Um, both I got done at the end of September, beginning of October. I will say I have been able to wear my AirPods um, and I have not had any issue with it. But if I were to be experiencing dis discomfort or any trauma, um, like piercing bumps, anything like that, I would definitely stop. Um, 
anything that's going to cause any movement, bumping, tugging, anything like that is going to potentially delay your heel time. So you always want to just be mindful of that. Um, but chances are you can probably wear both. Um, just be gentle. Don't go like shoving it in there. Like I set my AirPod in my ear. I kind of go in at an angle from above and like set it in and I feel like it doesn't put any pressure on my piercings. So just be mindful. Well, thanks so much for joining me, y'all. We do have Facebook Live tomorrow at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time, just like we do every Friday. I do give away gift cards and monthly club subscriptions. Um, and we look at jewelry and we have a really nice time. So definitely put that on your calendars if you're interested in it. All right, thanks for joining me. I will see you all next week. Bye.